So, I'm here tonight with Telford Aaron, local YouTuber Hello. and explorer. And we are at Apley Woods to do an investigation. And I thought I'd just catch him for an interview before we kick that off to see if he's got any thoughts um, about the atmosphere of the woods. Uh, atmosphere? Um, well, I suppose history is more, from my point of view at least, there is a really good, rich history going on here. Um, with the Apley Estate, there's been activity going on here for centuries. Uh, I think King Charles II might have had a connection here. I'll have to double check that, but you've got various information signposts around Apley Woods explaining various parts of the history. And yeah, uh, maybe one of my favourite features of Apley Woods is the Yew Tree Alley Avenue, which is kind of in that direction a bit, with the way the trees just come over into a beautiful arch from one end to the other. You can really feel there's a um, fascinating vibe going on here I don't know how to describe it better than that but whenever I come here especially when I was here as a kid I just loved the place and in all your visits to Apley Woods have you ever seen something or sensed anything maybe from the corner of your eye or just a glimpsing fleeting to be honest, I'm not, I can't be entirely be sure. Um, there were probably corners of a place where such a situation can happen, or maybe happen. Um, I should probably clarify that. When it comes to certain things paranormal, I've always had a bit of a sceptical head to me. Um, it's just always been the case. But I've always found the paranormal really interesting nonetheless. I love the subject. And when it comes to somewhere like this, yeah, there are definitely a good chance of something occurring, but how to, I can, ex I don't know how I would myself explain that other than, I don't know, situational vibes, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And are you aware of any local ghost stories? Personally, I'm not aware of any specific ghost stories to this site, but I'd be surprised if none existed. Basically, I'm, I'm pretty certain there would be something ghost-related folklore around Happy Woods. I'd put money on that. It's just at the moment I haven't come across those stories yet. Okay. Thank you, Aaron, for your time this evening and meeting with me for this uh, short interview. I oh, know, I'm glad to be here and uh, I hope your investigation goes successful. Okay, so, so introduce yourself and just introduce yourself to the any spirits that might be near. So, I'm Fran, nice to meet you. I'm Alex, nice to meet you. And I'm Max, nice to meet you. So if we try it a couple more times, see so if we can get any responses. Okay. You hear something moving behind us, but I think that's human rather than... Yeah. <laughs> so you're recording? So, 
is there anybody present with us this evening that is no longer in the, the living realm? Make yourselves known to us. I've got any definite warmth mm -hmm. from I can, I can feel. Make yourself known, come forward, don't be frightened. Also here for some local children in the background as well. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously it'll get easier the later it gets, <laughs> the less company we'll have. Something back here. Yeah, I can I can hear something moving about and shuffling. I wasn't sure if it was squirrels or something else. It's true about door location sometimes. You can't have a between. What if the ghost is a squirrel? Maybe it's a ghost squirrel. Yes, Alex. Maybe you're onto something there. No, I'm still getting a headache and like mm. quite lightheaded feeling. I don't think it's a pump because I've stood back from it. Should just try some old fashioned pouring out. Mm. Are there any spirits here with us? Come forward and say hello. Come towards the green light. Say hello. Yeah. So who is in the trees? Show us that you're here. Give us a sign that you're with us by you know, moving a, a branch or a, snapping a twig. I'm just going to play this one back a bit closer to the camera just in case there is anything on there that we didn't hear. I don't know if that was my voice or something else. Because it didn't quite sound like me. Um, Can you go back and record it? Okay, stop it, let's replay it again. I can't hear it on the second play, but I think it was on the first. So I'm tempted to set a pod up in like that area just to see if you can turn it towards it. There's a half. Yeah, I got it. That's a good one. No, it hasn't. So we're just doing 
give an explanation to the spirits and say if there are any spirits here that wish to communicate with us, you will see a box on the ground that has a green light and antenna eyes. Well, you know, what appears to be a metal rod. If you go towards that, it will make a nice clear beep and you can use that to try and communicate with us. Yeah. I got two dots there. I'm guessing that's some kind of reflection event. Yeah, it is probably a reflection on the lens from um, the lights from either the pump or the rampart. Okay, I just thought you might mind. I was hoping it was something like that, but I thought you'd be aware. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's definitely how not... quick they're jolting yeah. around, like the fixed position. So, yeah. A reflection thing. yeah, so I was like little pinpoints are actual reflections, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm new to this. No, Do... that's fine. If you see anything that looks like that can, like floats across, you might be picking up on um, what we call orbs. All right. Because obviously um, different forms of spirits will have different um, energies and ways of presenting themselves and um, orbs are quite a common occurrence in the paranormal mm. world. Um. Coincided with where I said, let us know. It was immediately after the creek. Can you do that again? If you are walking with us, let us know. Can you do that again? If you're walking with us, let us know. to join us this evening. Welcome to what 
just the same thing. I smell a perfume. I just had on my back. That's yeah. how I mm. You do that again. You're with us. Put ten yards us. It's like a floral scent that went past mm. as well. that just touched my back, just touched me again. I'm just to carry on walking. It was a push forward. Yeah. I you are welcome to join us. I don't like that. I don't like it here. Yeah. I feel anxious. That's what I won't come on today. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I don't want to have to find here. I just feel anxious. Well. Do you want me to just take a small video of just. try and stop others going in there and having accidents. Or are you just concerned about your own safety when it comes to the ice house? Did anyone else hear that? Yeah. What it's did like you hear? Was yeah. that scraping? Yeah, it was like scraping on that tree. Yeah, that's why I got distracted from me. There are a few bird boxes and nesting areas in this part of the woods. What's happening on that tree there? Because some of the signs will go here. So Gina and Alex have both just heard some scraping on the tree next to us. Alex, Was that you? I haven't that Was that you that's making that sound on the tree? Light up the balls if it is. Or is that something different on the tree? The focus has gone really blurry. Because <coughs> it was quite sharp and then it's last well, time you're here. <coughs> Do you mind just being here? If you don't want us to be here, can you... I'll wait for the ball to stop. <laughs> if you don't want us to be here, can you light up the ball? If you'd like us to go. If you don't light up the ball, we'll assume that it's fine for us to stay here. Having company. Because if you try and speak into the device that I've got into my in my hand, sometimes when we play it back, we'll be able to hear you.
you like to try and actually talk to us? Make your voice heard. Someone like heard a whisper, a really faint whisper. So if you try and speak into the device that I've got into my in my hand, sometimes when we play it back, we'll be able to hear you. Sorry, that's just a minute. Just come a bit closer. So if you can come a bit closer and try and talk to us again. And, uh, we'll see if we can hear you. Tell us anything that you want. So if you can come a bit closer and try and talk to us again. I'm wondering if it's a ghost of an animal. If it's making scraping noises, it's been on the tree and wall, maybe a cat or a... Maybe Ooh, someone got like a, a zip or something that keeps jangling. I've got this. I keep hearing like a bell. Mm, okay. But, yeah. Those people walking dogs. Just mm. like that. Mm. Keep seeing the dog walking. Mm. Okay, do you want to? I haven't got anything. Something like that. No, it's more like jangly. Almost like keys. No, it's not me. No. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. No, not that slither. <coughs> Baron, do you jangle? Does anyone get any vibes from this end? Uh, only like, further down that end yeah. felt like I felt like I'd been shoved like forward and then we heard that like rusty gate. Didn't yeah, you? and yeah, I could so smell like a perfume floral well. perfume. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you want to take a walk down here, we can see if anything else happens. Sure. Should we all take it in turns to see how far we can get can with our torch? I'll go first. Go on then, see ya. We're going to turn our torches off so you can't see. Okay. It's <laughs> far without a torch. Bye. I'm not sure she's brave with that. I've told her to do it. That's right in my eye. stood back at the impend. Yeah, because it's just because if it's 
been charred and turned round halfway it was because of two reasons. Firstly I thought I heard somebody running in the bushes. Over that way? Yeah. Mm. But then as I because I was watching my shadow on the ground and it was like a second shadow appeared behind at the side of my shadow. So I thought oh someone following me. So I turned and Aaron was coming up but he was still quite far off and I could see his shadow yeah, he was in front of us. didn't reach mm. that yeah. far. Yeah. But it was weird. It was only for like a few seconds. It was like a second shadow. Well yeah, done there. Yeah. Oh, we had oh, that shove oh, oh, and yeah. smoke perfume. Yeah. Yeah, I got a waft of perfume. As she said perfume, I've got a waft of perfume. Mm. But I wasn't sure if it was just somebody. Don't turn the light off. Turn the light off. Turn the light off. Aaron, turn your light off. So we're sending them all up the. Uh... No, it's only because a bird flew in, just decided to go out of its roost without any knowledge, and it's like. Rah! She had like a bit of a feeling. Just think there's a vibe here of that. It's like, I don't know if it's. it's so, you, so you feel yeah. a vibe, do you, Aaron? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know how to describe it beyond that. Anyone with a snow, can you step forward and light up the device? Yeah, that's Is everybody has everybody's phones on. Mine's in the car. Oh, mine on to aeroplane mode. So 
on flight mode now. Yeah, it was your phone. Is that all right? Yeah. It was my phone. So we are currently over by the duck pond where earlier tonight Max had a bit of a strange feeling. She wasn't a fan of it over here. So she's staying well back at the moment. So far, very quiet though, apart from the ducks. So if there's anyone here with us now, can you make yourself known? Make a sound. Use the device in my hand to uh, light, light it up. So if you come near it, it'll light up, make it light to red, or make it light to anything, but red would be great. So what's here that uh, made Max feel uncomfortable? Did something bad happen here? We don't know. Oh, my bad. Yeah, just asking the ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, did anything bad happen here? <laughs> Why not? You should know. Yeah, why not? Um, I don't think anyone else is really picking. Are you still picking up on that uncomfortable feeling, or do you feel a little bit better now? It's not as bad, but it's along the edge here. Okay. So what happens if you pass the edge? On the water line. No. It's like it's shaking. Do you think it's because this is like over, over the, water. the water? No, because I'm a strong swimmer. That's what I said earlier. Strong swimmer, yeah. yeah. And I was fine. I'm fine there. It's small. It's all here. As we were walking up. to the hospital as well, aren't we? Yeah. I some bodies in so I've just tried to there. Google <coughs> if there was a drowning here. I can't find anything at the moment. Okay. Does anyone else feel like it's suddenly got a little bit warmer here? I feel quite cold, but I'm still I don't think it's a modern drowning. 